Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to be testing TikTok nail hacks. Previously when we tried some TikTok nail hacks, I feel like I focused a lot on the tools that I had seen on there and today I figured we would focus more on quality of life hacks and nail art. I have five different videos to show you and stuff to try out, so let's just get into it. This first video is from Glam Studio by Nora and to help speed up the process of doing nails on themselves, they put the acrylic on the tip before they glue the tip on. And I feel like that's such a good idea that should be obvious that isn't obvious to me at least. This could be super beneficial for doing your opposite hand if you don't have that down yet. I feel like I've made a lot of progress on doing my opposite hand, but still nowhere near my more dominant hand. This could also be a really good time saver. When you do have time, you can pre-do the tips, and then when you're in a pinch, you already have sort of half done nails. So let's try it out. I'll be using my McCart pump ups today for my tips. I probably am going to end up with a little bit of like a funky looking set since I have a different design planned for each video that don't necessarily all go together. So I'll grab out what fits my nail and that should be perfect. I'm wanting to do a little bit of an ombre for this nail. So for the actual tip, I'm going to use this one from Secret Nail Affair. This is from the Christmas collection and this one is lace. I am going to just cut the tip a little bit and shape and they just held it on with some tweezers so that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like this feels weird. It almost feels like I'm doing someone else's nails but they're still mine. Fairly easy to do though. My bad if I sounded weird. Sometimes I forget to clip my mic back on me so hopefully you heard all that. It's not really like I can start over. I mean technically I could redo all of it but you know what I mean. I feel like holding it with a tweezer is probably not the best way because I feel like my fingers are hurting from holding it down. Probably be good with just like a disposable cuticle stick, so like a little wooden one and some like of the little tacky putty. It is nice to still be able to get like all angles, like real nice up close and see it. I am trying to get down fairly close to the edge. <gasps> And here we go. I'm just gonna set this down for now. Now that it's dry, let's file. So they did file while it was still on here. Of course, probably not going to be able to do it like 100%, but I'm sure good enough. Giving it a little just wipe now. Top and bottom. Is that acetone? Oops, no, it's fine. I don't think it was acetone. Then I'm gonna give my finger a little wipe as well, though I am just going to buff it a little so that it'll even stick. I do have a like little protective base coat on because my real nails are not it. Here's how it looks. I feel like it looks pretty good. I feel like I was able to get it even enough. So let's glue it on now. For this, I'm gonna just place the glue directly on my nail and a little bit more than normal because I feel like this is really heavy. I might've done a little too thick. I mean, looks pretty good to me. It looks so weird just like this, like half done, half not. A little bit of primer. I am so sorry. I truly have no idea where this next acrylic is from. From what I can remember, I needed a container during making chalk acrylics, and so I dumped this into an empty one to something and used that. I don't know. Long story short, this is not the right container. I don't even think that this is the brand, so I have truly no idea what brand this acrylic is, and it also just made a mess. I'm going to use this blue, though, as an ombre. See how easy that is to do. Okay, looking a little thick, I realize that now, but we can file that. It's fine. Not too bad though. Whatever this acrylic is, it has some real pretty glitter. I absolutely did it way too thick. Oops. Dang, I really thought I was spot on with the thickness of that. It's cool. We'll just build it up and file down a little bit. No biggie. Even though I was off on the thickness of the nail, I feel like it was super easy to lay the acrylic on my actual nail to the tip. Like I felt like no problem. And have we ever seen me lay acrylic this cleanly? Like this hasn't been filed. Obvi I mean, underneath has, but you get the idea. I'm going to file now. So this morning I got on TikTok and I noticed I had a couple tags, which, you know, this is how I find some of these hacks as you guys tag me. I noticed that 
Rosalie Cook one had tagged me in a couple videos doing 3D flowers. So this one's for you. I'm gonna do some 3D flowers. Have I ever done 3D flowers? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using these acrylics from Nailmate or Glitter Planet. These are some acrylic art powders, so I thought that they would be perfect to do the flowers. These are the shades that I have that I thought would look good with the colors, so let's just kind of like get into it. I think we should just like jump into the flowers because otherwise, I don't know, because I've never done the flowers before. When I realized I wanted to do the 3D flowers, I was a little stressed because I didn't think I had a 3D acrylic brush, but shout out to Ellen Nailed It. I was looking through my stuff and she had sent me one. It was the best thing to see because otherwise, I don't know, what would I use, a big brush? Like a detail brush, I don't know. But it is perfect, very excited. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, okay. I'm gonna go in with the blue and I'm gonna just, I guess, start. That was probably definitely too big. And I'm pretty sure that you're just kind of supposed to let it dry like halfway for the most part so that you can make the indent without it getting all, you know, sloshy and leveling itself out. Sloshy, that's not a good word for that. Ooh, that might be too hard. Oh. That's a petal. I got this. It's fine. We got it. Something though that I've always been really terrible at, like I don't know why. Whenever I'm drawing, I've never been good at estimating and placing like flower petals. I just feel like one always ends up like super skinny or they don't meet. I don't know. It's just weird. But maybe that's changed. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. You know, I feel like this is going to be my year for nail art. I feel like I've just had such good luck lately with getting stuff to actually like look halfway decent. Almost looks like um like a shamrock. Trying to learn, you need the literal smallest bit of monomer on your brush, like. That's probably gonna be too much ink. You're not gonna touch it, leave it. Do you see what I mean about the petal spacing? I feel like this would almost look like a really pretty butterfly though. I will absolutely incorporate a 3D butterfly in a set at some point now because I feel like that's just so cute. Okay, just kind of sneaking that one on in. It's not terrible, but it doesn't look quite right. I think I need to add small petals around it now, so I won't waste your guys' time. I'm just gonna speed through that. And here we are. It's not mm, the flower that I had envisioned, but it's a flower nonetheless. For the inside, I think I'm gonna try to tone it down a little bit by using a like white sparkle color for the center. Uh -oh. Okay, not loving what that's looking like. I'm trying to work against the acrylic quite literally because I don't want it to dry. I'm going to just plop a rhinestone on. These ones are from Long Hair Pretty Nails. So first ever 3D flower. Again, don't love it. Definitely gonna be something that takes a little more practice, but it's not terrible. I just went ahead and did the rest of the flowers because it was taking me quite some time because you have to let the be kind of like half dry to do it. It was just taking way too long. So let's just do our top coat. I'm just gonna use the Kira Sky Ultimate Top Coat because this is pretty thin and I'm gonna try to not get the flowers. I would like if those could be matte still, essentially. So pretty, give it a cure. Here is the final result. Overall, I actually really like this hack. I feel like the nail ended up looking really good, like structurally, and it was really easy to do. I did not have to file very much and I like it. I might do this in the future for times when I don't have a lot of time and I want like a nice set. Time for our second hack. So this one is from Lights Lacquer, which is a nail polish brand. So we're gonna try this with gel and if it doesn't work, then I will go to nail polish. But it is essentially a temporary tattoo on your nail. I don't know why this wouldn't work. So the temporary tattoos I have are just these like Halloween ones some Sanrio ones, and these are fairly big. So I figured we'll still try it, and I'm gonna try to do cinnamon roll here, and I'm just going to basically do the entire face, something like that. Then maybe we can cut out extra stars, or I don't know, but we'll just see. I feel like that's just the one that I can get the face in the most. I feel like, I don't know, it kind of just seems cut off for anything else. Maybe Karomi, no. I feel like cinnamon roll right here is the smallest, so that's what we will do. 
just realized that this boo is upside down. <laughs> Before we can do that, we have to put a nail on. This is a e-nail couture, this is a e-nail couture, e-nail couture, couture, I can't, nope. Too early in the night for me to be messing up words like this. I am gonna just give it a little bit of a snip, just a little bit. Shorter thumbs make it everything easier. You won't even miss it. To adhere, I'm gonna use the DIY gel from Enel Couture as well. Very easy in this nice little squeezy tube. I feel like we should put some sort of background color. So I'm gonna use this gel. I feel like it's just subtle enough, but will provide, you know, like a solid background as well for it because cinnamon roll is white. I don't wanna put a white down, especially because I think we might be cutting off his face. Also didn't buff the tips because I want this to be as smooth as possible. Cure. I don't know that the tattoo would stick to like a glossy surface, so we're gonna put a matte top coat on and hopefully that'll work. I feel like I don't see like why not. Essentially like the water just makes the tattoo come off from the paper. It's really just a question of if the tattoo will stick to the nail enough to be able to top coat it. Top coat, not top coat, Thank you. And the result, I might do like a little bit of like a tilt like that. So I'm just gonna cut out a little bit more than we need. Sorry, some roll. All right, let's do it. So I'm just gonna position and then I guess we'll just take off. I think that looks good. Oh, it's kind of sticking to it a little bit like in general. And you know, as a kid, I absolutely never left the uh, rag or the towel on long enough. I'd do it for like two seconds and then wonder why it's not sticking. So we're gonna make sure to leave it on for our grip. And I'm hoping that it's doing it in the shape that we want. You know what I mean? I don't see why not, but... <gasps> oh, it worked. It just slid right off. Okay, we have... A little bit of wrinkling. Am I gonna make it worse if I touch it? But actually, that worked! Oh my gosh! Ah, and I love it, it looks so cute. Yeah, it needs a little bit of better positioning so it doesn't like wrinkle like that, but. Ah. So I did feel like it was going to work, but I didn't think it was going to look this good. The only thing now though, is we have to make sure it is 1000% dry because otherwise the gel will just like peel off in I don't know, a day. So what I'm gonna do with this is just be super careful while I have it and we're gonna move on to the next video and we will top coat this in a little while. I do not want to have any moisture trapped or anything like that and I'm gonna just be super careful to not scrape it. This next one I am dying to try. So it is from Nail Art Official on TikTok, but it also has a watermark in the corner from Yum Up. So that's the most I could find on it. But it's this really fun idea of just taking a bunch of different gel and just kind of like globbing it on, filing it down and seeing what's there. I've sort of done something like this, I think, where I put gel on and I file it and it sort of gave like a heat sensor sort of look, but this is different. It ends up sort of looking like pastel bubbles. I don't know. I'm really interested to try it. I'm gonna do it pretty similar like they did, but I'm going to also do it a little bit brighter since they did like a more pastel-y. I wanna do like a little bit, you know, more neon just to change it up. For my tip, I'm using Anna Acrylics Tapered Square. Before we do that though, we need to do a French tip. So I'm gonna do the like natural nail looking part first. Right now I'm just putting a base coat down so that everything sticks. Ah, oh, that's so dirty, but this one is, I can't even say chrysanthemum. And I noticed that this poly gel is almost out, which means I've used so much of it. I don't really run out of nail products very often, so when I do, it's a treat. So for that, I'm just going to squeeze out as much as I can on this one. I do love this color. It is a good nude for me. I like a more orangey nude rather than a pink on myself. We're just going to move that into shape. And I am going to build it up a bit higher since obviously this is going to be a very thick nail. Even if you don't really want it to be a thick nail, it kind of almost has to be with just that much going on. So when I file that, I wanna make sure that I have enough at the base too. Here that is, I'm going to cure it and then add a little bit more and we can get onto the fun. I am dying to just kind of glob everything on. I feel like if you know me, you don't even need me to explain why. I'm gonna cure this and file it so it's in a good shape and we'll be back for the fun part. Before we do the nail, I want to top coat this really quick. It's probably been at least half an hour and I am very nervous to do so. 
I was careful with it, you know, to my best ability. So it stayed on pretty well. I'm gonna cure it now. Listen, I love this lamp. It's an Enel Couture one. I feel like it works a great. The only thing I don't like about it is the cord is not long enough. Here is it cured, so I feel like you can see a little bit of the wrinkling from that, but overall it looks really, really good. I'm so happy with it. That is a tip I will absolutely use again. Where is my point? Oh. So like I said, I'm gonna do a little bit of a brighter one. So I'm going to mainly be using these liners from McCart. Following step by step, first we do the smile line with no precision whatsoever. I am going to be carrying this in between every color or in between just coats of a color because when you do it this thick, if I were to just glob a bunch on, it will not cure and you'll like squeeze out the side. It'll create like a pocket and you squeeze it and it'll come out and you don't want that. So yeah, I'll be carrying it a lot, just know that. For the big globs of poly gel, I'm gonna be using this 2B Glam Sugar Rush. I thought instead of doing like a white, we would do a little bit of a color, but not too much. That way we can sort of stay similar. I'm like, is that good? I don't even know, but there's no method. So I guess I'll just, I don't know, I guess that's good. Now blue, I am doing my nail a little bit longer than they are. I'm scared. <laughs> Up next green, this one's gonna be really bright. I feel like I'm like, I don't even know, like whatever they say, I guess. I saw with the blue and green, they pretty much covered the entire thing. I saw after the cut scenes that they did, so that's what I'm doing. This is heavy. And then the orange or whatever didn't go through the whole thing. Wow, I hope this looks okay with the neon because I don't know. I, I can't say I'm sure that it's gonna. Kind of just looks like put a bunch of gushers in your mouth and then like chewed them for like five seconds and then spit them out. Okay, glitter top coat from Urban Graffiti. For the clear, I'm gonna use this little squeezy gel just to make it easy because this is going to suck to file. At least it's poly gel and not acrylic. To be fair, like this is probably plenty thick. I don't think that there's gonna be a lot of places that need a uh, clear. Okay. I'm giving this an extremely long cure and we will get at it with the e-file for sure just to take down the majority of the bulkiness because she'd be bulky. I feel like there's somewhere where I can see this is gonna be pretty but I'm really hoping this is a trust the process type thing. Let's see. I'm going straight in with a coarse bit. There is so much dust. So an issue I noticed over this is that some of the gels seemed to sort of be like flaking a little bit. I don't know if that's because it wasn't cured fully or I don't know, just wasn't like adhering all together. I have been curing it as I've been filing in case there are any little open pockets. It's not quite coming out how I thought it would and I'm a little sad about it. Okay, I think I've done as much as I possibly could for filing it. I know there's so much dust everywhere. Let's wipe it off and see what we're working with. I am just gonna top coat it with wherever my top coat is. I feel like it does look cool, but I feel like it doesn't look as cool as theirs did, which I'm bummed about. Could be the color choices, but also I feel like it just was the height of the gels and stuff. I feel like theirs had a bit more of like an ombre on each part and mine is just a lot chunkier. I don't think it looks bad. It just definitely didn't turn out how I thought it would. Definitely looks cool. Doesn't look as cool as theirs, but I don't hate it. It looks kind of like, I don't know, like funky 70s maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna go wash the rest of my hands though, cause wow, gross. <laughs> Our fourth hack that we're gonna try, in my opinion, I think is going to be one of the most fun. Also, yes, let's just ignore uh, the uh, appearance change. I started to get really bad headache yesterday, so I decided I would try again today. So here I am. This one is from Tanny MDZ. It's basically a way to just make yourself a little charm out of whatever you have with hot glue, which is way more accessible than just like, I don't know, mold 
stuff. I'm not sure. I've never tried to make a mold of something, but I would imagine that getting hot glue is much easier. So we're going to do that. Even if you are just making another mold out of a charm you already have, I feel like it would be really useful if you wanted to change the color of the charm or you just wanted to make more without having to buy them and just use stuff you already have like acrylic. Or if you wanted to make a charm and have it be flat on the back because this way only one side is going to be molded and that could be really useful because a lot of stuff that I find that I kind of want to use as charms, sometimes they are molded all the way around and then you kind of have to really work and maneuver it to get it to stay on your nail, but a flat back is substantially easier. I found this charm on this barrette and I think it would be a good thing to remake. So first gotta rip it off. Oh, this is really on there. Usually my charms just always fall off the barrettes and I have to re-glue them, but not this one, of course. Finally got it. Hot glue, gonna let that heat up. Let's put that here. And then the charm. I'm going to use a silicone bowl. I think that hot glue doesn't really stick to super smooth surfaces like glass or silicone. So I'll use a silicone thing. And then I think what they were showing on the charm was oil on it so that it would pop out. So I will do that as well. Let's oil up the charm before we even put any glue. So we'll just do that. And then I'm just going to do a little drop of oil on top. I feel like that's probably fine. Let's get it all on there. Cool. Cool. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, I feel like I kind of need a lot. I'm working against the clock though, because I don't think that hot glue stays hot very long. Oh my god, this is going through almost this whole thing. Okay. Okay, okay. Then let's get it. Eee. Ah! And I'm gonna put it in there. Put it in there. Put it in. Put it in. Okay, that should be good. Now we wait. Impatiently. Ow. Ooh, that's hot. Just waiting. So much anticipation. Alrighty, I think, oh, okay. This popped out super easily. So here we are, it's still a little bit warm, but it seems like the charm is already wanting to pop out. Is it? Maybe. Oh, is it, is it, is it? Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Yo, that looks really good. Okay, go off hot glue. I'm like, what else can I do? For the strawberry, we're going to be doing a reverse strawberry. So the berry part is going to be green and the stem part is going to be red. Have some Kira Sky colors here, more like Christmas looking, but it won't when we do it. I haven't cleaned out the mold of the oil because I'm not sure yet if the acrylic will really wanna stick to the hot glue. I don't think so. I don't know if I will need to oil it in the future or not. Okay. Ah. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. I'm gonna try to have this just go in the stem here. I'll paint on the seeds afterwards. So now we just do the green. I'm so excited. I don't think we're gonna have any air bubbles. At some point, I will most definitely do a video where we just make charms and stuff from scratch. I was already thinking about doing that, but I was gonna make molds out of like actual silicone and stuff, but this seems so much easier. Just sculpt some stuff out of clay and then do this and it sounds so much quicker, for real. Just gonna let this set up now, looks super good. While these set up, we will do the nail art on my nail. I'm doing a nude base for this. That way the strawberries that I paint on are actually going to pop out. If I did it like a red or green, some part would just sort of like blend in, you know? Then a matte top coat. Let's get into it. Strawberries are, to me, something a little bit easier to draw because strawberries aren't uniform. So if you have a little bit of like, you know, funkiness, a little curves, it's usually fine. Now the stems, I feel like I'm like rushing a little bit cause I'm dying to know how the charms look. I don't know why these stems are not looking right. Hmm. Okay, well it's something. For the seeds, of course have to do them black because I think actually they're like yellow but I feel like black seeds are obviously gonna be a lot more disturbing. Yes, I love it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna do a shiny top coat just to go with the theme with the rest of the nails. They all match today. I mean, they don't match, but you get the idea. Ooh, I'm really nervous. Okay, is it gonna be better? Kinda hard to get out. <gasps> it's so good. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. You can't tell me that didn't turn out better than you expected. It's so defined and stuff too, like every single like ridge and it's, it formed great. Wow. The original and the mold. I dare to say, obviously I haven't completely finished mine, but I dare to say mine could turn out better. We'll just do the seeds now, black like the nail art. Let's adhere it now. I'm gonna just use Cura Sky Bling It Gel and that was probably too much. Absolutely love it. And I am going to top it with a shiny top coat, but a thin one so it's not globby or anything. I wish I would have cleaned the edges up a little bit, but nonetheless, I absolutely love it. And it looks substantially better than I thought. I thought it'd be a lot creepier, but it kind of looks kind of cute. It's a little weird. So now, honestly, the last video is kind of just an excuse for me to do a design I've been wanting to do for a while. And it's from See My Nails. And they show what is apparently an older trick to where if you put oil on your acrylic nail while you buff, it makes it a lot smoother and sort of flattens out any scratches. So I feel like we should try that. I did obviously do an acrylic nail earlier so we can see if this one will look any better, any shinier than the one that I had previously done. Apparently this isn't like a new thing and nail techs have been doing this for a long time, but when you're self-taught and you know, you're not around a bunch of other nail techs or you know, people doing nails all the time, you don't learn this kind of stuff. But thankfully we have TikTok and the internet to learn these sorts of things. So let's try it. This design that I'm going to do is inspired by my rug. I felt like it would just make a really cool nail look. I haven't done much carved out acrylic before. Why am I doing this in acrylic? It'd be probably be a lot easier to do in gel. I don't know. I felt like I'd make it difficult for myself today. So let's get started. I'm just gonna start with the tip and stuff already on just to save some time since, you know, we've been through it. This is not how I intended to do this. I thought I would be able to like really sculpt it, but that is not working for me. So what I'm gonna do is just create these large spaces and then fill black in it and then go from there. Like kind of let the pink sit up, scrape some out, if that makes sense. Because any of the pink that gets pushed up will just get filed down. Don't wanna get in trouble for using anything sharp on camera. So I'm just gonna use this. This kind of looks like, like what are you doing? but I feel like I can make it work. Am I doing it the right way I should have done? No, definitely not. Definitely, definitely not, but I will fix it. Yeah, I'll fix it. It'll be fine. It'll totally be fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it harden up and then I'm gonna file it a little bit and then I'm gonna define the carves a little bit more and then I'm gonna put the black in and then I'm gonna do the like really swirly part at the bottom and then I'm gonna clear cap it and then we'll file it and then we'll put some oil and then we'll see if it makes it really shiny. Carved out now. Let's just try the black. Hopefully this is going to look a lot better than it looks right now. Obviously this is a process that I made up, but I hope this is a trust the process type thing, you know? I probably should have done something other than black because the black is so pigmented and it stains a little bit, so, you know? Probably wasn't my best choice, but we're here already. Now we'll see if this is gonna look how I kind of am wanting it to look. So now I basically am just going to get, you know, some stripes of the pink and I'm gonna lay them out as if I was gonna cut them out again. Then I'm actually gonna get the black. I'm gonna try to make it look like it's like marbling in from these. Will it work? I don't know. Does it kind of look like it's melting? Do you guys see what I'm trying to do? I don't know if it's gonna work though. So I'm pretty much finishing filing up. I won't file so you don't get that like scratching noise, but here it is. You can obviously see lots of scratches. I 
just used the 180 grit side of the file. If you don't know which, I didn't know for a long time and I kind of just like guessed which one was 100 and which one was 180. The finer grit is the 180. The higher the number, the finer the grit is. And even with that one, it's still a lot of scratches. Obviously that's still pretty high grit because I kind of am using it to just, you know, smooth out after really taking down the bulk. But I have my cuticle oil here. Okay, we'll do a nice before, you can see. Okay, and we'll also see if this affects the way that the top coat adheres. I know it should be fine pretty much if you make sure to wipe it really good with alcohol. Usually to smooth that after, I've just been wiping it with acetone, which you can still do, but I guess we'll just see. And I'm gonna use the finer side of this. Also my bad if I'm looking this way when I'm talking, I can see better in my monitor than I can here. It actually does look a little bit smoother and it feels really smooth. I think it feels smoother than if I just did it without the cuticle oil, which I don't know, that's really interesting. Can definitely still see like the little ridges, but it definitely feels pretty smooth. So I am going to just wipe it with swipe, which is basically like rubbing alcohol, not acetone like I normally would. What acetone will do is basically just melt it ever so slightly and it'll just make it all like kind of bleed together. So here's this, make sure to rub really well. How did this nail turn out guys? I'm not sure how I feel about it. I heavily wiped it with that to make sure that it was all off. If you leave any oil on your top coat, it will peel off. But now let's do the top coat. I am so excited. I do like this design, but I don't think it turned out exactly like I had hoped. I still like it. Room for improvement though. It's kind of cool. A little spot over here where I kind of went too far in with my file. It's fine. We'll pretend that that's not there. So I did forget to wipe the nail with the flower and so that just was buffed regularly and I feel like this one absolutely looks shinier than this one. This one I can definitely tell the gel kind of got caught in the ridges a little bit so I love that. That's good. I don't know if I'd use that over acetone. Probably if I was worried about acetone messing up my design or something along those lines I would definitely do this but I'll probably do it again. I actually love how these turned out. I feel like they're all like unique in their own way. I feel like all these hacks worked pretty well. I feel like we're kind of getting away from them being like really gimmicky which I'm not saying I never participated in but I feel I feel like, I don't know, like I'm really happy with this set. I feel like it goes together and also doesn't go together at the same time. Let me know which nail ended up being your favorite. They're just all so different. I don't know. Let's not forget cinnamon roll over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you want me to do another one of these and tag me in anything that you want to see me do. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.